Hey friends, welcome back to the channel. My name is Mansa and today we are doing a little bit of bulk shopping at Restaurant Depot. I always get this question. How do I shop at Restaurant Depot? Because it's for restaurant owners and you know, business owners. You can actually get a day pass at any Restaurant Depot, whether you're a member or a business owner or not. It does not matter. Just ask for a day pass. <laughs> We are at a restaurant depot. That's so weird. Titi, where are we at? Restaurant depot. What do we buy here? You're gonna shop for food, right? Yeah. We're not getting a whole lot today. All yeah, right. Let's go to Restaurant Depot. We'll meet you inside there. All right. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Daddy took the car so he could get my food. Huh? No, I'm waiting for Daddy. I'm waiting for the cart. Muscles and clams. Okay. Here's the cart. Oh, good. I, I took a box of shrimp there. Hey, Helma. Where is it? It's right there. Are you buying shrimp? Yes, I'm out of shrimp at home. I'm looking for a uh, mackerel. Can you help me look? Did you know Fritos? We got lace. Okay, I think we need the Cheetos. So the Cheetos is, let me see. So the Cheetos is 50 bags for $19.49. Okay, and the, I mean the Cheetos. Okay, so the Fritos is 50 bags for, or they're the same price. I can pick you up. Okay, so we're home. I'm sipping on my carrot juice that I made yesterday. I actually filmed a video for it. That's what it looks like. There you go. It's really good. It's carrot and um, ginger. ginger. Yeah. And what? What's the third ingredient? Carrot, carrot ginger, and what? Orange. Orange. Mm. So refreshing. So good. So yeah, we're back home and I have to put away my food. So this right here is my shrimp. I ran out of shrimp. So these are easy. These, um, let me get a knife so I can cut it. They come packed individually. My juice. There's nothing funny about it. Yes, so be quiet. So this is the individual packs. So this is, let me see. Uh, they're two pounds each. And I think I have five packs in here. Let's see. Yep, five. Five packs right here. So I'm just gonna put those in the freezer like that uh, now the one I have to work on is this big old box right here this is 44 pounds of mackerel fresh mackerel or frozen mackerel by the way um, I'm not sure how they are wrapped how they're packaged because I've never bought this 
Oh my goodness. The end of oh lord. Um <laughs> okay. So this is how they come. So it's just one by one. It's not wrapped individually, so whew, I have to um go through this. Oh my goodness. I hope it has thought out enough. So yeah, I have to go in and wrap these maybe in threes or twos and I'll be ready to put them in the freezer. So yeah, we got work to do. Let me put on my gloves and head to it. We break up and you slam the door. I messed up on the bedroom floor. What the hell do we do this for? I push you up, but you come back. That attraction, we can't fight that. Oh, keep telling myself. You guys, these are so big. Can you see that? Goodness, they're so big and fresh looking. I am in love. Now, the reason why I bought a lot of this mackerel is because I put it in my um, my African soups. All of them. Any African soup I'm cooking. Titi, what's your favorite soup? Fufu. Fu no, fu <laughs> what soup? Fufu and what soup? Yeah, pound of yam. Titi, I said soup. Pound of yam is not the soup. That's the fufu. Okra. There you go. You'll like that a lot. So yeah. Any soup that I make, okra, um, egusi, vegetable, anything. I always use a lot of this. So I always find myself buying it. So I had to buy it in bulk. So that's the reason why. Now I do plan on um, grilling some of these outside on my grill, my outdoor grill. So that's the plan. So I'm going to grill some of these um, outside and keep it because that's how I use it. Although most of the time when I'm using it, I just grill it fresh in my oven or my air fryer. So yeah, that's the reason why I bought a whole bunch of these. We got that we got that okay, so I am done. I'm going to go ahead and put these away in the freezer. The shrimps already came packed, like I said. So I was able to put the all the mackerel over here. It is a whole lot. I pray my freezer is able to take all of that. But I have two freezers in the garage, so I'm sure it should be able to take care of it. I did not buy a whole lot like I usually would because I had just bought a lot of lamb. I have I still have a lot of the other fishes that I use. The pompano, the... Um, What's the other one I use? Pompano and whiting. Because I bought the big, big box of whiting. So, um, yeah. And I'm in the process of getting beef in, um, in bulk. I do that with uh, my friend and some other ladies where we buy like the whole cow or so. And everybody just get whatever you need. So, yeah. This is what I got today. And by the way, the box of um, mackerel was 120 yeah, it was $120 for 44 pounds. And the shrimp, I forgot how much it was. I would look for it and put it on the screen. So, yeah. Let me go put this away. Woo. All right. So, you guys, I am done with my um, frozen stuff. Now, I got fresh produce. Here, I have two boxes of um, red bell peppers. These are for myself. I have another one in the garage. That's for my friend that I'm going to get to her tomorrow. But do you see how big these are? And these have gotten so expensive. It's ridiculous. So yeah, I bought two boxes. I um I did something similar months ago. And I am just down to like my last two um last two Ziploc bags. So I had to restock, but I do not have time to work on this today. Definitely not tonight because it's already um it's already 9.30. Yep, it's 9.30 p.m. And I'm tired. I got to work tomorrow. So I'm going to do that tomorrow. 
um and i'm probably going to film that so i'll show you guys how i preserve these i use several methods you know depending on what i'm going to use to cook them so yeah that's what i got going on so yeah i'm i'm tired i'm going to put this away in the garage where it's nice and cold so it will stay fresh till tomorrow i can tell you my problems meditating my silence but i keep pushing my pen rotating my stylus brokenness feeling like seeing not no breath low dollar Used to be left on red, now all the girls go holler Now all the girls go follow All the fake friends gon' pile up I need peace to borrow, get that shit right back tomorrow Somehow all the fans go bravo Smile so much to hide my sorrow Stay this shaky in Verado I can't hold a frown too long I can't stay down too long I will Huh? Let me kiss her You guys, I forgot to mention this, but my air fryer died. Can you believe that? My beloved, beautiful French door air fryer just died on me. I was in the middle of making something and it just, it just stopped. So I had to call, I got it from Kohl's and y'all, you guys know I moved into this house <laughs> less than a year ago. Not, look, like eight months ago. I bought it, that was the time I bought it and um, I was so happy with it. Yeah, my friend had it and she recommended it and I got it and I've been loving it because I was able to get rid of my toaster oven and all, and my old air fryer because this has everything on it. It has air fry, it has bake, it has roast, name it, it got it. I make pizza, french fries, fish, meat, everything, chicken, anything I cook in here. So when it died, I was so so sad y'all so um cole said it was they only had warranty for 180 days so since it was past the 180 day mark i now had to go to the manufacturer itself which is caloric and i reached out to them but they were really nice enough and they told me what to do so they basically said that i had to cut the cord i had to first of all send them um, proof that it was not working so I had to make like a short video to show them that it's not working then um, I sent my receipt and all of that and you guys I had to um, send the serial number right here and then they said that I should um, they approved it but they said that I should cut the cord right here let me show you this is the cord this is where the cord was supposed to be so they said I should cut the cord and show them proof and that is for them to know that so Okay, so they don't want me returning it to them, right? So they want me to dispose of it. So when you dispose of it, they don't want people trying to go in, or maybe you trying to go in to try to get it, put it back on to try to make it work. So they want it to basically be useless. So they told me to cut the cord as close as possible, which is what I did. So this is the leftover. And then I had to send them a picture for proof um, of that. Then they were going to mail me a new one in three to five days. I think I completed that on Friday or um, Saturday. And yeah, we came back today from our little trip and my new air fryer was basically waiting for me outside. Yeah, so I'm happy. It's the same one, the same air fryer, the exact same one. So I am just gonna replace it. And I hope I don't have the same problem again because I really like this thing. And ta-da, here it is. So yeah, same thing, nothing different. So I'm gonna go ahead and open it. Now I gotta make sure that this thing is up and running before I respond to that email to say thank you for replacing my product, you know? <laughs> I don't wanna say thank you and then I turn it on. And I got problems, I don't want that. So yeah. These are the attachments for the roaster, I believe. Yeah, and these are some of the inserts. I don't even think, I think I still have a brand new one of this from the previous one that I never used. Um, this is the grill rack. I use this a lot, a whole lot. This is also for the roaster, I believe. 
never used it. Ta-da! There you go. Now, in as much as I like this air fryer, the downside of it is that the French doors, when you open them, both of them open up with you. Like, there's nothing like open one door, no. And when you open it, and I'll show you guys in a minute, when you open it and it does not open all the way, it, they both will just slam. And I don't like that. I wish there were hinges, you know. Okay, this is the crumb plate. And that one is necessary. Oh, this is stuck on me. All right. And ta-da! See, when you do this, see, they just slam. That's, that's what I don't like, that's slamming, all right? This is the air fryer basket, the most used insert, the air fryer basket. I do not play with this. It is so, so good, y'all. I'm just happy that I did not have to buy a new one because, y'all, I was already so salty because, man, it's, <laughs> the other one was still new. So, yeah, same function. So, I'm going to go ahead and just try it out and see. The crumb tray goes to the bottom right there. There you go. And if you hear any noise, my um, washer is running. Actually, my dryer. My husband's doing laundry. So, yeah, that's the air fryer insert. I just leave my most used inserts. Um, sorry. I just you leave them inside because I use them <laughs> every day, pretty much. So, yeah, these are the three that I really, really use. So, I'm going to go ahead and try it. If you want to air fry, if you want to use the functions for the bake, broil, pastry, pizza, roast, toast, you use the oven functions. If you want to air fry, you got the air fry chicken warm to keep it warm. You could do ribs, shrimp, steak, wings, bacon, fish, corn, fries, dehydrate. And I just use the function for each of them. And I just control the, um, the time using this knob. And the temperature so you could just click on it and as you can see it's blinking then you can turn it up or down and you push it again it takes it and then you see the now the the temperature is blinking now you can turn that up or down and that's it and once you hit start I am happy all right and to stop and it, it takes about two um, two minutes to stop on its own so what you can do is just hold and press for like a few seconds and it will stop. That's it. So yeah. New air fryer. Thank you for listening to my rant. Now I got to go to bed. And I think we're good to end the vlog right here. So thanks for watching. I'm going to enjoy my air fryer. Let me know if you use an air fryer. What do you use it for and what brand do you prefer? Have you had any issues with yours? Let me know. All right. I'll catch you all in the next one. Bye.